Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So here we have a uh, Nissan Leaf, a 30 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf. This is a Tecna model. I think it's in the best colour, the metallic grey, and best spec, obviously. Tecna's top of the range spec. So what you get on the Tecnas is you get 17 inch diamond um, cut wheels. You get leather interior. You get heated seats front and back, heated leather steering wheel and you get the Bose stereo. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other kit as well, but that's the main things. And this one has got the upgraded 6.6 .6 AC charger up front. So the purpose of these videos is to primarily describe the condition. And if you see my videos before, you know I'll point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything. There's absolutely no point, because I want people to know exactly what they're buying. And then that allows people to buy the vehicle from afar without coming to view it first. And then I can deliver this anywhere in the country. But of course, if you're local and you want to come down to Lyford to view and test drive it, of course you can. So let's have a walk around. There's really not much to show you on this. It's absolutely immaculate and it really does look good uh, in the sunlight, um, really is sparkling. Uh, we are sort of getting into winter weather now, so hopefully the, um, the shadows aren't too strong because it's a bit difficult filming when the sun is so low. I would just say we've got SuperGuard protected on here. Um, and the paintwork's all absolutely lovely. I've also put a sealant on as well, uh, and the water just beads lovely on it. So, um, really not much to show you. Uh, there's just two tiny little marks I'm going to point out, but we'll have another. I'll have another look as I walk round. So that alloy wheel is completely mark free. Um, I would just say everything I'm going to point out is on the website, and if you can go to the photo gallery, you can zoom in at the pictures and uh, have a good look in detail. And the tire tread depths are on the website as well. There's no scratching on the mirror cap, absolutely scratch and dent free. Gonna be ultra picky. There is a little tiny mark there in the paintwork, but I cannot feel it. It's not indented or scratched. It's just a tiny, tiny little graze. Um, and then down here somewhere there, there is a tiny little scratch there um, it's about three or four millimetres. There's some very um, fine scratches there, but that's just in the clear coat and that will probably polish out. Um, little mark there on that other wheel where the um, water's got underneath the lacquer. It always does that on diamond cut wheels. That's being ultra picky now, pointing things like that out. Um, round the back, it's all nice. Usually you get scratches on the bumper because of course they're um, painted bumpers and stuff gets loaded in. A couple of very very fine scratches and there's a couple of little indentations there but all only one to two millimeters. Uh, the rest of the bumper is all good there's no sort of parking knocks or anything. In the back here we've got a, a Nissan uh, mat and it's all really clean and tidy underneath that carpet the standard carpet in the boots horrible material and it really does collect the dirt but uh, it's as good as I've seen in one of these actually on this one. It's been well looked after. We've got uh, two charge cables here, your type one to type two AC, AC charging cable, and then a portable charger, often called a granny cable, which allows you to charge it on a three pin plug. They might not be the same cables that come with the car, uh, because this one, it's come from RCI Finance and it was missing the cables. So I'm waiting for the cables to turn up, but um, you'll get both regardless. If the originals don't actually turn up, then you'll get those ones. And then uh, we've got the safety kit there, and that's your Bose amplifier on the floor there. And then continuing round, um, it's a little mark there on that spoke, uh, again, where it's scratched and so the water's got under the lacquer. Tiny little mark there, but you know, I'm really being picky and no um, curbing as such, apart from tiny little bit there but that's being too picky. Um, it's all good down here. There's no dents or scratches that I can see. It's just lovely paintwork, apart from possibly there, tiny little chip there in the paint. No scratches on the mirror cap. That wheel is all good. And back round to the front, and it's all good at the front. No stone chips um, of any significance, but I'd actually say almost well, a tiny one millimetre one there. I'd have a little bit of paint in that. You know, there's a couple of 
two, three, three or four, four stone chips, that's all I can see, but all really tidy, um, tiny should I say. For a car uh, that's done a few miles, it is as best as I've seen. And then looking on the inside, it's all clean and tidy. Being a Tecna with leather, they um, do wear better than the uh, cloth seats you get in the other models. But yeah, really looked after this car. And then looking in the front, even this front driver's seat, absolutely nowhere yet on that bolster. It really is in nice condition. Leather steering wheel, as I said, heated, which is very nice in the winter. Uh, the idea with heated seats and heated steering wheels is it's much more efficient to heat your contact points than to heat the whole cabin. So these do have preconditioning, so you can set a time that you're going to leave, and while it's connected to the charger, it will precondition the cabin. It will heat it all up and melt all the ice off the windows. And then when you're doing your driving, when you disconnect, you've still got 100% range, 100% battery. And then when you're doing your driving, maybe you don't need the heating on, and you can just use the heated steering wheel or heated seats, and that's not depleting your range at all. Um, and it's a lot more efficient uh, way of heating yourself in the winter. Um, so yeah, all very clean. Um, if I just move my bit of paper, being ultra picky again, there's a little bit of wear there in the driver's mat, completely what you'd expect. But if I look underneath, if I can get the mat off the hook there, I can't quite do it. But anyway, looking under there, absolutely zero wear on the floor. So yeah, it's all really nice. Let's just jump in and start it up. So, we can see there the mileage, 4, 000, uh, sorry, 45,247 miles. So this has done a few more miles than many other Leafs of this age, but still not uh, much. And it just proves that electric cars work and um, you can do the miles in them. And we can see here we've got two charge times. So a three kilowatt and a six kilowatt, which shows us we've got the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt AC charger. Um, as far as range there, it's showing 100, well, it's showing 112 miles just a second ago, but 111 miles. You can pretty much ignore that if I just push the buttons down there because that's based on recent driving economy and it was only at 3.8. So it hasn't been driven particularly efficiently. Uh, if you drive these um, efficiently in the summer, you'd be looking at a range of about 130 miles. Um, being a Tecna, we've got, uh, that's the other thing actually, the 360 degree camera. So if I put the car in reverse, we've got a camera here, front and back. We've got cameras at the sides under the mirrors and we get this bird's eye 360 degree view. Um, this has got uh, DAB radio as well and obviously we've got sat nav and phone and all that sort of stuff. Heated seats, uh, front and back and this is your switch here for the back seats um, the condition inside is just absolutely immaculate there's no scratching on this piano black plastic no wear on the um, plastic here which you often get on these where people's hands rest and it wears off the silver paint um, there's just nothing to point out inside it's just been really looked after this car quickly show you the paperwork we do have two original remote keys there and we have got the book pack here with all the books. There's some serious bedtime reading there with that manual and the multimedia manual. We've got everything here. We've got the service history book and um, three services. It's just had a major service at Nissan at 43,192 miles on the 16th of June, 2020. So um, only just been done. And with Nissan, you get uh, uh, 12 months of um, roadside recovery as well when cars are serviced at Nissan, so that's included as well. So um, the logbook here, no previous keepers, so only one keeper from new. And the registration date is the 14th of the 4th, 2017. And uh, the MOT... Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, where was the MOT? Uh, expiry date 15th to 6th 2021 and it was done at 43,192 miles. So everything is everything there that you would want to see and of course everything works without any fault. 
So I think I've pretty much covered everything I need to do. I'm trying to be a bit quicker with the videos because they were getting rather long. Um, so yeah, this car is ready to go. So if you're interested, give me a call or email. And as I said, I can deliver these anywhere in the country. And it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use. So just to recap, it's a 2017 top spec Tecna in metallic grey and it's got the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt ac charger it's got two charging cables we've got the boot mat it's also got mud flaps all around the original um, nissan mud flaps which i didn't point out and just in stunning condition you really wouldn't find one better than this and um, yeah i think i've pretty much covered everything but i think it's the best color best spec and of course it's got that upgraded charger that most people want